guys, it's Mandy, and tonight we're going to be doing um, like a yellow to green with glitter liner look. Uh, it's really fun, and it's just a summery look for a crappy winter day. That's what I'm going to say. This would be really awesome paired up with like a, um, a lighter pink lipstick and maybe some pink blush, like a plum blush maybe. I don't know. I don't have time to do all that, so um, um, try it out. I think it's pretty. Uh, and I think it's definitely worth a try. Makes good use of glitter and really good use of techniques on blending. So give it a try and thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, let's start. We're going to do primer potion, of course. And now, to make the colors brighter, I'm going to use, if I can find it, I just had it before. Fascinating Eye Coal, which is the white one from MAC. Oh, I'm going to coat my whole eye with this, or my eyelid. And I'm going to create my eye shape with this. Like that. It looks kind of chunky, but it'll be alright. What, honey? Huh? I asked Daddy to button it. I'll button it for you. Okay. And just blend it out with your finger. I don't know how much you can see. I did it on my other eye first because I thought for sure it wouldn't work out, but it did. Okay. Just blend it out some. So it's more even. Just like that. I don't know how much of that you saw. Sorry. Okay, and now I'm going to use primary yellow. It's a sample I got from the body needs. And this color kind of sucks. I don't I really like it. It's not doing what I thought it would do. Uh, I'm going to use 224. I'm going to try it wet. Maybe that'll help. I'm going to put that in the inner half. See, it's so, so blah. It's not very bright at all. I thought for sure by the way it looks in the package, it would just kick ass and it's not doing it. So if there's anybody out there that has a trick to making yellow stand out more with let me know. I thought for sure the white coal pencil would do it, but it didn't do it. So I'm putting a lot on I mean this is way more than I was hoping to put on. But and I'm just using my two twenty four, I think. Numbers have kind of rubbed off. I mean, look how bright this is, right? In the package, it's like wicked bright, and it's so not bright. Okay, and now we're gonna take um, Aquadisiac, which is this one right here. I'm gonna put that on the outer half with this 224. Mommy. Well, honey. Little I thought Daddy was gonna button up. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back. We're back. So, what is the brush? The aquadisiac on the outer half. Like so, and as you'll see, as they come together, they're going to create like a, um, like kind of like a lime greeny color, I guess. Just going to blend the two together. And if your blend isn't very good, it's kind of blotchy like mine is, I'm just going to take some Juxt, which is this color right here, which is pretty much the color that it's creating all by itself. I'm going to put that in the middle. This is just going to help it along a little bit. I just took a 217 to blend it out a little bit. It's, it's fine. Okay, now we're going to take a quarter inch local my brush because I want a little bit of blue on the outside. I'm going to take the bottom blue just on the outer corner just just on the outside because I don't want it to come in very far. Just like that. I'm going to take my 217 again and blend this out. Blend all that together. 
So this is just a, a touch of summer when it's freaking a million degrees below zero outside. I think it was like nine below zero here and today in Iowa, and it was awful. And that was without the windshield. That was actual temperature. Okay, so now we're going to take blue, which is this color right here. Right there with my big old highlighter brush I always use. I'm going to put it up here. And I'm using Floof because it's a little shimmery. It's kind of going with what we're going with today. I really like Floof. I'm glad I bought, I bought it. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I like a gomer. And I'm just using this to blend out that top line. So you don't want any harsh lines in this look. It's just a very fun, soft look. Because it's bold colors without going crazy, if that makes sense. Okay, now on this eye, I did not put any of this green eyeliner on the top. And it's kind of, kind of sparse. And I want it to be solid. So I'm going to take my Gemma Kid Iconic Eyes pencil in Drama Queen. I'm just going to do my upper lash line. And this is going to... give my glitter a backdrop. And I just want to smudge that out a bit. And then I'm going to take my little 210 and I'm going to put some mixing medium on it. And then I'm going to dip it into, this is called Jewel Marine Glitter Brilliance. See that's pretty, pretty glitter here. All, right, you see that? all I know is that it was freaking all over the threads of the cap and it just, it gets everywhere. Glitter kind of stinks, but it's totally worth it when you can make it work. Okay, so I'm just going to load up my 210. And I'm going to put it on. Okay, just like that. And wing it out just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Now we're just going to take some more of that green eyeliner. Right? And that, I'm going to take a Q-tip. A Q-tip, yes. A Q-tip. And I'm going to drag it out. Soften it up a little bit. And you really don't have to bring your green down so far if you don't want to. So, personal preference, like I said. And that is it. Well, let's hear it on for you. I'm put that green in my waterline. And just like that. So, that's the glitter. Now, if you have a glitter liner, it would probably work a million times better. But I don't. All I have is a loose glitter. Um, so, that's that. I don't know what to call this. It's just a fun summery look from yellow to green with the glitter liner. Um, I hope you try it and have fun with your glitter. I mean, don't just use it for holidays and stuff. Use it for every day. I mean, geez, you have it. Might as well use it. Make every day a special day, right? Alright, so I hope you liked it and thanks for watching. Bye.